Good day, good day. Welcome back to the community where we speak about everything legal study and where we support each other through our journey to the LLB degree. Welcome back, guys. As promised yesterday, um, today I want us to deep dive in one of the modules that I have registered. Like I asked you yesterday, if you have registered, um, just check out the, the video that I posted yesterday on the modules that i've registered me i've registered five modules and i did clarify yesterday that if you are interested in going through this journey with us where the community will be talking about announcements on the modules requirements and assignments and sharing tips and information please do join us on this channel all right today guys i would like us to please deep dive into one of the modules which is pvl 3701 ne? PVL 3701 is law of property. Law of property is essentially the law of things. So yesterday, I went to um, the site where they post our assignments, where they give us announcements. Unfortunately, we are not able or we are not allowed to share any links for UNISA. Um, so whatever information that I'll be sharing with you is information that is coming from myself. It is information, even though it is shared on the UNISA site, is information that I have engaged. And I'm going to put it in my own, in my own way, in my own words. Né? I'm going to share with you the way I have interpreted what has been announced and what is required of us. What we need to do as a community or as a, yeah, let's put it, let, let's call ourselves a community the llb community all right so um let's 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 uh, get right into it guys um yesterday i looked at the um, as the study guide as i have promised and i saw also on the site né, they posted a guideline on how to approach this module um i i did go through the video that was posted it is perfect please if you are registered if you are a unisa student please go on to um my unisa site and then go on to the announcements né? the video is under announcements so we'll, you will go to your module under my modules you will find all the modules that you have registered you will click on pvl 26 no no why do i keep saying 26 <laughs> i'm in third year now pvl 3701 so that is law of property. Once you get to that space, then you click on announcements. Under announcements, guys, there's an amazing video where um, sort of an overview of the study guide is provided. Né? Um, it just gives you a guidance or a, an approach on how to approach this module. There's actually a picture in the study unit that they explain in the video. The picture is on... On, in the study, in the study, the picture is on page 13, 1, 3 of our study guide. It just explains the whole module, how it's structured. It explains to you ownership from module 3 to 7, possession. Um, okay, they didn't indicate from which, which, which section. And then holdership uh, from 8 to 9. Please have a look at it, ne? I might mumble a bit because I'm also still trying to ingest the information and understand it properly. So what is important or what I, I, I gathered from the video, you need to understand your terminologies. When it comes to law of property, you need to understand your definitions. You need to be able to differentiate between two or three main categories, which is ownership, which is always legal. If you own something, it is always a legal ownership ne? but then under ownership there is different categories there are requirements and then there are remedies and then there's possession possession is another uh, um, section that you will need to understand possession can either be um possession is all, always unlawful ne? but it can either be you can either be in possession of of something knowing that you are possessing it unlawfully or you can possess it without knowing that um, your possession is unlawful. You know the legal terms. Né? So it can be possession, you, uh, bona fide, or it can be possession, mala fide. Possession, bona fide, means that you are possessing in good faith, meaning you did not know, right, 
that um, you are in possession of that item illegally. For, for example, if my friend borrows me a car or this pen, let's use an easy example. If my friend borrows me this pen and they send me a WhatsApp to say, please bring back my pen and I don't bring it back because I did not see the WhatsApp. I'm in possession of this thing illegally, but I'm not aware. So it is called possession bona fide. So you are in possession, you are possessing something illegally, but you are not aware, right? And then there's also possession mala fide. Mala fide means that I have stolen this pen from my friend and I want to use this pen for my benefit, whereas this pen is not mine. So please understand the, 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 the definition of ownership, of possession, and of holdership. Holdership can also be um, lawful or it can also be unlawful. But all these definitions and explanations and summaries are given on page 13 of our study guide. Please start by looking at page 13. If you are able to, if you have the data, guys, they are giving us um, data, please go to... Um, announcement look at guidance on how to approach this module you will not regret it you will not regret it i'm already enjoying so once you look at the summary then you you your mind is almost open then you understand okay so when it comes to ownership this is how one can acquire ownership when it comes to position this is you know these are the different types of possessions when it comes to holdership all right this is what is required so the the, the guidance uh, video on how to approach the module is not it's not comprehensive it's not everything that is in the module you still need to go and study but i love and i love and i love how it has just in a few minutes just opened my eyes to the whole study guide so as i'm going through the study guide i know what to expect guys i'm not um good with editing videos making videos yet but um i want to improve so i want to show sometimes for example if i'm talking about page 13 i want to be showing it here you know those little things. So there's a master class that um, yeah, one lady that I just love, 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 love from YouTube. Oh, disclaimer, her name is not Shongwani. She will not appreciate this. It's Owami Nechiza Vaudo. Okay, Owami, if you come across this video, I am so sorry. Um, it's Owami Nechiva Zaudo. Um, she is hosting a master class. I think it's in March on how to 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 create your own youtube channel how to create better contact on on, on youtube so yeah i want to attend that so that i can do better so that i can well improve on my delivery and the way that I, I i share my videos although this is not an you know fancy channel or entertainment channel continuous improvement is necessary in all things but back to the content and back to the module guys please take your study guide if you are able to print print page 13 eh? I've got it printed out and this is the page 13. It's just, I hope you will be able to see it, guys. I will do better in the future. I will learn. <laughs> I will learn. I will learn how to do this fancily so that you can see it. So this is page 13 of our, um, our study guide. Please print it. It's a summary. It's an overview on how to approach the module. So that's what I was doing last night. This is also what I'm going to be working on tonight. I'm trying my best to put in about three hours every night of work. Né? Because if you have five modules and you have assignments that are almost due in the same week, because we have two assignments. Né? Our I think assignment one is compulsory. Please make sure you do it. There are require another thing that I didn't share that I have requirements to other side to the assignment. I saw that we, our assignment needs to be one page. Please go on to the assignment has been uploaded. Please go on to the and read the, the requirements. I have not started, ne? but I just read on what is required. What am I expected to do? How many pages do they want? What do they want me to consult? So I think they said you, we must consult the study guide. We must reference the study guide. Our references must not be, we must not put footnotes. So we must reference, um, if you've been a law student, you will know. You, we don't have to put, in this instance, we don't have to put footnotes. We must reference in brackets at the end of each sentence. Né? So for example, if you are quoting something from the study guide, at the end of, I don't want to say if you're quoting it. I don't know if the word is right but if you are speaking or if you are writing about something that you found in the study guide um 
reference it in brackets at the end of your sentence another thing guys i want to tell you i think there is just so much ne? i don't want to be the reason why i want to share this in videos i it helps me as i'm speaking about these things i'm also internalizing them i'm also reminding myself so this this is for the benefit of, who, of whoever would love uh, you know to benefit from it but if not there's nothing to lose i'm just putting it out there guys there is i might i might butcher this this um pronunciation eh, because i'm seeing this for the first time please google it please search it please go to your unisa site and look for it there is 13 13 i don't know if it's 13 requirements now when we upload our assignment one we have to acknowledge 13 <laughs> yeah i think it's 13 so go on to assignment one and just read for now it's not due yet i think it, it opened on the first just read i i stand corrected but it opened recently just read the requirements ne? and they will also guide you to the 13 document that i'm talking about i don't know if it's 13 like anybody if you know the pronunciation um, i don't know how you can let me know but yeah tell me whether it's right or wrong <laughs> tell me whether i'm pronouncing it right or wrong. there's 13 requirements that we need to acknowledge now so when you upload they will look at how many percentage of i don't know i don't want to say plagiarism of 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 how many percentage of okay i'm not going to say it because i don't want to say the incorrect thing but when you load you have to acknowledge certain and then it will check your work ne? just go and read about it please when you have time if you're going to stand in a queue at a bank or wherever you're standing in a queue have your phone with you open your site just go through the requirements use your time wisely guys i don't I like i don't speak to people in queues i am always busy on my phone i'm looking at requirements you know i'm looking at assignments if if you are bored you're at home you're alone or you are you don't want to speak just be on your phone and be looking at your assignments the due dates and what are the requirements guys i feel like i've been going on and on and on and on and i feel like i'm speaking to myself but please 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 if anybody is benefiting from this video let me know in the comments down below yeah? because it is benefiting me i hope it benefits the next person and until next time when we speak further on this module goodbye